Welcome back to The Deep Dive. So if you've been looking up at all recently, you know we've just navigated what felt like, well, the most exciting and certainly the most confusing period in recent astronomical history. Oh, absolutely. We're calling it the year of the comet, even though it all really happened in just a few months. Exactly. And at the center of it all were these two incredible travelers, both sharing that same single name that got everything so tangled, ATLAs. That's right. For a for a good while there, the whole conversation, I mean, both in the science community and just online, was dominated by these two comets. Both were absolutely spectacular, but for uh, completely different reasons. Almost opposite reasons, really. Diametrically opposed. Yeah. And because they shared that AT last name, everything from NASA updates to just forum discussions got incredibly mixed up. And that's our mission today. We're here to cut through all that noise for you. We've gone through the sources on two completely different events. First, Comet C-2025-K1, a local comet that just violently shattered near the sun. And then the other one, 3I Atlas, a confirmed visitor from interstellar space that brought with it this, this really bizarre chemical surprise. So we're going to get into the physics of destruction for one and the truly, well, alien chemistry of the other. Right. We want this to be a shortcut for you. Our goal is simple. Pull out the most important details, the timeline, the actual mechanics, and the chemical findings that are, you know, really challenging how we think about solar system formation. By the end of this, you'll understand exactly why these two objects had astronomers, both pro and amateur, completely captivated. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with the one that was here and then, well, wasn't. Comet C-2025-K1 ATLS. This was a natural icy body discovered just this past May. It was cruising towards the inner solar system. Everything looked normal. Right, until it hit its perihelion and its closest approach to the sun on October 8th. And that's the moment of maximum stress for a comet, isn't it? It is. That close pass often seals the fate of these uh, more fragile, volatile comets. But the interesting thing here, the part that fueled some of the early confusion, is that the big dramatic event didn't happen right at perihelion. Exactly. The real fireworks, the visual proof of its destruction, that came weeks later. We have this incredible image from November 18th taken by astronomer Michael Jaeger. A stunning shot. And it showed everything. The comet had just spectacularly fragmented. You could clearly see three distinct pieces all lined up like a string of pearls streaming along this massive fading dust tail. It really looked like a cosmic iceberg had just cracked apart. And that delay is so important. If this was just about instant heat, you'd expect it to break apart right at that closest pass. But because it happened later, post-perihelion, you saw all this uh, speculation online about, you know, impacts or something else 